I'm Susan Harper. I'm the Canadian Consul General for Canada based in Miami, and we're basically like regional ambassadors. Canadian snowbirds are people who don't just come for a short visit, but who come and stay for an extended period. Some of those people rent, some of those people own, but what they have in common is they stay for an extended period more than just a week or two. Canadians of many generations, I think they have been coming down and their parents before them and sometimes their grandparents before them. Many snowbirds drive down because they want to have access to their car if they're here for an extended period. When you are looking at four to six months of winter, it's just obvious that people would like to go someplace warm, just even for a short period for a respite. And Florida, I think, has traditionally been very welcoming. In Ottawa, we can expect snow flurries as of the beginning of November. And not surprisingly, the beginning of November, we start seeing Quebec and Ontario license plates. People often will uh, go back to Canada for the holidays. In January, that's where we see quite a wave of snowbirds coming in. And that's when they clearly are seeing the real impact. We're actually Canada, Florida's most important international economic partner. The tourism relationship is so strong that often people underestimate the strength of the overall Canada-Florida relationship. Canadians are the number one source of international purchasers of residential real estate as well. And the estimate we get is a portfolio of about 60 billion. Based on those kind of numbers, the estimate is that Canadians contribute about 580 million, like half a billion dollars in property taxes. People like to go where they're made to feel welcome. All across Florida, we run into snowbirds and whenever we introduce ourselves as Canadians, they go, oh yes, I have friends, I have neighbors. It's a very welcoming atmosphere. Then there's also a cumulative effect that, for example, many Canadians speak French. Well, there are communities here where they can live in French for the extended period they're here because there are so many Canadians. It makes it a place where people feel comfortable coming down. It's a very challenging year to predict too far into the future, but it's also, I think, a pretty safe bet that if you have a warm, sunny, welcoming place, where people can live very economically or spend a little more money if they'd like to. It's hard to see that not continuing to attract people. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.